we're putting out the lumber for the forms for this slab for for the uh, the house on the water should be beautiful so it's 36 feet deep 26 feet wide over on this side will be a 10 foot or uh, 8 foot porch closed in for away and then a, a deck concrete deck on the back we're going to pour it in two or three pours because this is going to have two inches of foam insulation under it we also have to wait for the plumber to come and rough do the rough in underneath after he does that then we'll put down the foam rebar plastic all that stuff and pour some concrete so let's get at it So, I came here without my recording equipment. All I have is my phone for today. So, we're going to set this all up. We'll put the, uh, we're, we're digging around the perimeter to trench that to make a deeper footing. Then we're going to put two inches of foam and rebar today. Then we're pouring tomorrow. I will have my camera tomorrow. Foam going down, two inches, R10. The idea is to keep the frost from coming up through or cold so that they can have a well insulated house. Okay, we're getting over to where the plumbing, all the plumbing is. That far one on the left is for the kitchen. This is for the shower and the washer. Toilet, electrical inlet, stubbed out through. I'm sorry, that's water. Electric is coming in from a different direction. Not sure where, where the, the electrician is doing that, so I'm not sure where it goes. But we're getting that down. We'll secure all of that. Putting plastic on top to seal everything up. And rebar. Perfect. Rebar going down. We're putting a bend on the end of each one so it'll come up into the wall that we're going to pour. Just like that, right to a 90. Okay, we are all set up except for space under the rebar. Probably gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, there they are. Maybe we'll do it today. All right, so the driver wondered if he was ever gonna get here. It's 1.2 miles from pavement through the woods, uphill. So here we go. Usually check the mix when it comes out, make sure it's a good texture, good uh, thickness, good slump. You need a little more back here. Doing this end first, Ken? We're doing, uh, going halfway up and all the way across here. So the first truck came around uh, nine this morning. It's currently quarter past 12 noon. Uh, it's almost there. I, I would say another half an hour, 45 minutes, we'll be able to, to get on it. I usually do the finger test just to feel how much it goes in. It still goes in pretty easily. This was the second load. The first load was back there that has set up more so we will be on the back first and then usually I'll, I'll i'll stand on it and see if lightly and just see how far to go before we uh, make an impression on it. 
คนนะครับเราจะเริ่มจัดการทำข้อความทั้งในขั้นพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ขนาดของพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ขนาดของพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ขนาดของพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ขนาดของพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ขนาดของพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ขนาดของพื้นฐานและขั้นต่ำให้ได้ใส่ To those. Forms are all set up. We're pouring a five and a half inch thick, 11 and a quarter inch tall wall all the way around, <clears throat> except for door openings. We're waiting on the truck. Should be here any minute. This is the final pour of concrete. It seems I forgot to turn the camera on while we were pouring. Sorry, so you missed that exciting part. We, um, Chad's getting ready to power screed over there. And we're putting on the finishing touches. Chad's just power troweling for the last time. Not really nice. We have a, about a one-inch slope away from the foundation. So there we have it. And it begins. We are ready to start framing. This is a, like a big day. This is when it shows up a lot. That uh, even though we've done a ton of work ahead of time. For other things, framing is where it really shows up quick. So here we go. And of course, sill seal on a pressure treated plate that we put on the bottom goes on the concrete. Okay, we're gonna move some walls. So four, two, so I, I've got the middle of the wall, I guess. Um, we'll have to flip. Yeah. Yeah. Right there's good. And I'll flip it over towards you. Can I carry it this way or? Yeah. You got that? <laughs> what number is that one, Chad? Two, one? Yeah. I guess we could just set it out here then. So, huh. You want to go do it, set it outside? Mm -hmm. Like a big jigsaw puzzle. So we rented a scissor lift that we're going to get probably in a couple of days. So we're just going to put the walls up really quick and then go back and get another load of materials so that we can be ready for when the scissor lift comes. I can step out here. Ready. Okay, we're going to nail on flashing. This will have, it'll come up an inch and a half, has a shelf about two and a quarter inches, and then comes down an inch. The reason being is we're going to put insulation 
against the concrete to insulate that. So I think we're ready. That went rather difficultly. It's like hardwood. Are you, are you doing the sheet? Ready? Yep, yeah, I'll start over on this side. Oh, perfect. So Chad's up there doing the triple plate around this part because there's going to be a lot of stress out on all those walls. So we wanted to beef that up. So we're ready to put floor joists up. Yeah, beam me up, Scotty. Sure. You, you mind running that thing? Yeah. You do? Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Uh. This is the moment. This has been since December. I've been awake nights thinking, wow, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? We have two triangles that we're going to set up there and we're going to try to set them up safely. Uh, the homeowners have a, a tractor that they're helping us out with to get it back there. Probably weighs, each one weighs about 300 pounds. So we're going to set it up on that uh, bl bracing, blocking set it there we'll use the lift we've got something for it to go against and theoretically it should just tip right up we'll see how it goes the first one went fairly uneventful we got it up there Got it all nice and plumb. There, we're putting the bracing on there now so that when we set this other one up, it won't shoot off and go into, go into the water. Now we're building this wall. We snapped the line all the way across here, five and a half inches back, to allow for the thickness of the two by six. And then we toenail with the nailing gun. So we toenail into here, right on that line, so that it keeps the wall straight. It also helps when we tip the wall up to stop it from just going right over. On three. On, let's go on one. one. <laughs> it's gotta go up. It's gotta go out. You getting it? I'll get it. Okay, both gable ends are done now. So uh, it's a little late in the day to try to do the ridge pole. We'll tackle that tomorrow. That'll be the hardest part of the whole project. It's all downhill from there.
and we are about done for the day that's the last LVL for the ridge pole it's been a super windy day today made it really interesting up up there but we're going to put that one up nail it off and that's the hardest part of the whole job done and so tomorrow we'll do rafters and we're going to start closing this baby in I'm so excited about that all right so our intent today is to get the rafters up get that all squared away then we can start plywooding the roof it's a beautiful just another beautiful morning rafter number one So you may have to hold that from slipping, if you could. Do we want to tip it up right now? Or? <laughs> um. <laughs> let, me, let me go down just gently. Okay, so you're tight there. That looks very nice. Pardon me, say what? Uh, yeah. One down, 21 to go. Oh, that is perfect. You got that a minute? Let me go. I gotta let go. Let it go. Okay, we've done all that we can with the lift, the scissor lift. That area is the loft area, so it's going to all be uh, step ladders and whatnot. Rapid fire! Four by four posts are rated at about a 4,000 pound load coming down onto that. So between the three posts, that would hold, handle 12,000 pounds, which isn't even close. So it's more than substantial enough. Plus it matches the gazebo.
Okay, we are ready to stain. This is a huge day where it actually starts to get the look of being finished. So we're going to just spray here. We'll just work our way up through and uh, see how it goes. We're ready with a roller if we need it. Mask on. All right, day two of working alone. I've marked this. I'm gonna rip this one. This, these are the soffits to go all the way around the, the house. And actually, I have some help today. Where are you? Were you photo bombing me? Lauren, of course, you all know her. My lovely daughter. Okay, you ready? You psyched? And another piece of fascia. Good, I can get it from here. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Chad and Dan have been doing the battens on this side. That looks beautiful. I love the, the effect of that. And we are done with the doors until, until we, we don't have deadbolts. So we'll get deadbolts, put those in. Both doors, both doors are operational. <laughs> oh, I got a key here. Look at that. It works. Here's another big day. We're getting ready to set, do the foam insulation around the concrete. So the directions for the uh, sealant, the, the paint, calls to rough up all the foam so they're doing that ahead of time then we'll rip that we're going to use a uh, liquid nails to adhere it to the wall so they have their measurements they we know it's uh, going to be 19 inches high all the way across so they're going to rip those ahead we've got the sides all roughed up I think they're ready to go Okay, we'll put shims in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a cold again. We'll put shims in, mount the hinges. 
so that it's all good and snug and firm. They got the spray foam completed. It looks beautiful. All right, so they have, I didn't get to stay here and finish watching them uh, insulate, but they've got it all done. The entire envelope, it's just going to be so tight. The guy did a really thorough job, covered everything. It looks great. Just look up here. Wow. Definitely worth the investment. We'll just take a quick look around and see what, what they've done. It's looking really nice in here. Lots of, lots of pine. Bathroom, that's coming along. This will be the bedroom. That will go around to the laundry room. That'll go around to the laundry room. Utility room, back around. So on each side of me, you can see the small panes of glass put in. Hopefully the others fit. I think we can get it up there and then, yeah. All right, ready? One, two, Oh, you kidding me? It's fitting. I can't even hear you guys in there. I have my hand here. Should I take it out yet, or? Panel number five, one more to go. We're hitting, hitting the ceiling, okay. And there they are cleaning the glass. Wow. Perfect job. Look at the view. Wow. I ought to go upstairs and look at that. I'm... No, no way. Look at that. I don't have the tripod, so I'm shaking a little bit. I spent a good share of the time where John is right now. All right. 
Well, you'll look at that. It is done. All installed. They still have to seal around everything. Make it, uh, they call it a wet seal. That finishes it us. Finish, fin can't even talk. This, that finishes our project here. Woohoo! All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll have more coming out. Uh, have a great day.